Instagram, homeschooling mom to almost five and chaos coordinator since 2009. Giving you an update on the garden situation. It has been on hold. I try to kick it into gear when I have the energy and time because things like flu and pregnancy happen and then I'm just out and nothing gets done. Don't let YouTube life fool you. I have one child I started descending to morning preschool because I needed her to be at preschool. It's not permanent. It's just for a couple months. I have another one that just climbs and winds on me. And laundry's piling up and dishes are piling up and all food prep makes me gag. Uh-oh. Okay, we had a bit of an injury, but I think we're recouped now. Finally had a little bit of coffee in me and got me going. I'm trying to get things planted because I kind of have a lot of time and money invested in this garden situation. So, thank you, coffee. I wish you didn't taste like coffee right now so I could drink you. Chicken coop is on hold right now. We think we're gonna get the chickens more early summer. Editor Kim here. Or next spring. It's just some balls that gotta drop. I was able to move those over here. And so far they just have dirt, hay, and a little bit of sand from the sandbox. I'm gonna throw some garden soil on it and then plant strawberries and asparagus here. We'll see how that goes. Spoilers, it doesn't go well. Jeremy has put in three of the trellises, I need to put up the wire. Just waiting for the time and energy for that. Anyway, the bales never heated up like all the instructions say to do when you're conditioning them. Uh, we had a lot of cold weather. Some places, some people say that it just it never heats up, but all of them have said that this is a good sign. They're not edible, but it means that the conditions are right inside so we can start growing. Okay, so I've learned a lot since then. I planted quite a few potatoes that day. They've never come up. I think what ended up happening is that the bales heated up after I planted, so I'm going to have to replant those. Um, I should have waited longer until the mushrooms were growing from the actual bales. Those mushrooms were just growing between the bales. Um, now mushrooms are everywhere. All right, so today, finally a beautiful day. We no longer had, we had several days of like 60 mile an hour winds. Give you a quick update on the garden and what I've done today so far. Strawberries and asparagus in here now. Got these pulled up. I had to move them in the wrong spot. So just so you know, super easy to move if you put them in the wrong spot and not too hard to put up by yourself because I did about mostly by myself today. My husband did all the notching and the holes to put the stuff up. So it was pretty easy. I don't need trellis on the last one because that's just going to be potatoes and carrots and things. That's still on hold. I'm going to put up the supports here and then install the drip system and get my plants planted. They're over there. They're not doing so well. <laughs> so some of them are doing okay. This bin's doing really well. This one is not. So I just need to get them in the ground or replant whatever it is that didn't do so well. Oh yeah, go ahead and grab some popsicles. Everybody can have a popsicle. Uh, yeah, there's loads yeah. of them. Yes, go get a popsicle. Right. Sure. Okay, it's the next day. I got wings sick, kid. So I got the trellises up and now I'm starting to put up the supports in them. It's kind of tedious, so this is what we got. So I have the two T posts and then here I measured eight inches, 12 inches, and then 10, 10, and then I don't need another one there. And there's two here and two here because I'm gonna have tomatoes and they need support. So these are really tight, taut. And then to tighten them, I've been just sticking a screwdriver in and cranking it and it kind of creates this little knot here. Um, just be careful if you do it too tight, then it snaps and then you gotta finagle something. But it's not pretty, but I'm just trying to get it done at this point. See, things are not doing well. And if I'm gonna grow some things from seed, I need to get them in the ground or in the straw. I gotta put the drip system in and then plant everything and then cover everything. And then it should be good. Oh, here's my helper. Okay, it's been a hot minute. I'm officially 12 weeks, and I think I would have my energy back if I didn't have a dang cold. It's a beautiful day outside. This is what Charlotte and I have been working on this afternoon. All right, so we've got lettuce and spinach we just planted here. I have a little bit of an experiment. This is one of the things they said to do was to put some paper towels down. So it was like, Easier to see where you're planting. I know it's more cumbersome in the wind, so we just tried a couple. Just got snap peas, more lettuce, snap peas, lettuce, spinach, and then there's potatoes. Nope, 
no potatoes, Kim. And then here are some of the seedlings that survived. So we're planting those. She is right now. I've got some of my tomato plants that were barely surviving. More peppers. I just planted some seeds of tomatoes and then we're gonna do cucumbers along there. And I'll be transplanting some of these poor little things to over there. Okay, it's the end of the day and I am out of patience. So I built Fort Knox over here and didn't get to the second area of the garden, but it definitely was a learning curve and the other area should go much quicker. Got lots of bird netting. Got along, all along over there. Everything is covered. So this, oh, this one's really high because I have some San Marzano, which apparently get huge. This has been a godsend. It has stayed clear, dry, and it makes it easy to find things. So I can like throw my supplies over there. That's just carpet. I need to shake it out, but it stays clean. It's really easy to find what you drop. Got a lot of cleanup tomorrow to do. It's a maple tree that came down and all the helicopters came down with it. So I'm gonna clean that up tomorrow and hopefully get some planting done. Man, I never realized just how loud the highway by our house is. I, I do now, and I'm very sorry for the background noise. Okay, so it's been about a week. Every single transplant survived. Okay, so as you can see, lots and lots and lots of mushrooms. <laughs> and strawberry bed. I'm going to give it more time. Any more experienced gardeners out there know how long it takes for strawberries to come up? I planted the root systems and I know asparagus takes a while. I threw some seeds and crowns down but nothing's come up. More lettuce and tomatoes, different varieties of tomatoes for different reasons. And then those are beets that sprouted over there. You can see along the hose. Here's one of the transplants I got from a friend and that's mine for comparison. Got some cilantro, I was really happy. This is oregano sprouting in there. All oh, my bush beans, or oh, no, these are pole beans. No, bush beans, I forget which these are. More peppers, I had room so I decided to go for some zucchini. Tomatoes, um, I think that's basil, I'm pretty sure. Here's another big tomato plant a friend gave me. It's constant with the mushrooms, I think I need a clear those mushrooms out. I had room, I wasn't planning on it, but watermelon, I got some room for watermelon this year. I planted a lot of marigolds back there. I'm hoping those will block out the mushrooms. Planted some black beans just from my kitchen. I had, like I said, I had lots of extra room. So I planted lots of black beans. Pumpkins, I wasn't planning on doing pumpkins, but I got pumpkins, more black beans. And then I had the kids going, where are the Brussels sprouts gonna go? And I said, well, I think I'm gonna plant some there. I wasn't planning on it. Got two tomato plants there. See if they survive the transplant. And then these are my transplants. Some more, these are cabbage and some more cucumbers. Whew, and I still haven't even done all of my roots yet. Just got my energy back. Just hit 13 weeks. So finally one day I woke up and I was like, oh, I'm awake, I can do things now. And that just means catching up on everything. And then we'll do our second round of lettuce and all the things. I'm very, very pleased. I was very nervous planting that they wouldn't survive. Literally within a couple days, they were exploding uh, in the soil that I had put them in. So stay tuned for an update. I'll do one late June. Remember, it's okay to make mistakes. The important part is to learn from them. God bless. Mm -hmm.